people are doggedly passionate. The people who have made a difference in Silicon Valley have really, really cared about their work, and they've had to persist in caring even when everyone else thought they were crazy. Bob Swanson, who co-founded Genentech, lived on unemployment checks for several months in 1976 because he could not find a single venture capitalist who was willing to take a risk on this new field called biotech. And he just wasn't willing to give up. They are rule-breaking troublemakers. Bob Taylor kick-started the ARPANET that morphed into the internet. And he ran the lab at Xerox Park that invented or perfected most of the ideas that we associate with computers today. He also angered nearly every boss he ever worked for because he refused to follow rules that he thought were stupid. The people who have made Silicon Valley are team players who lean on networks. We all love stories of entrepreneurs going rogue, but the most successful people in Silicon Valley are team players who rely on the strengths of the people around them. Innovation is a team sport. Most big name tech firms have two or more founders with complementary strengths. And it's always been this way. Fairchild Semiconductor, the first successful silicon company in Silicon Valley, had eight co-founders. Hewlett Packard had two, Hewlett and Packard. Their network hub all over the valley, at Stanford, at Cal Berkeley, at the Indus Entrepreneurs Meetings, at the huge companies whose employees leave for new operations. Who gets hired? Who hears about new opportunities? Who gets mentored? Who gets funded? Networks all play a role. The people who have made Silicon Valley are lucky. There's really not much to be said here. Anyone who's honest about their success in Silicon Valley will tell you that he or she benefited from some measure of luck. The Google founders met because Sergey Brin happened to be assigned to give prospective student Larry Page a tour of Stanford. You hear similar stories of chance meetings or lucky breaks all the time. The people who have made Silicon Valley are diverse. Silicon Valley has become what it is because it attracts the best and the brightest from around the world. Immigrants have co-founded more than half of America's startup companies valued at a billion dollars or more. At 70% of those billion dollar startups, immigrants are key members of the management or product development teams. Silicon Valley definitely still has more work to do on this front, especially when it comes to women and underrepresented minorities. Diverse perspectives make great innovators. As Steve Jobs once put it, you have to not have the same bag of experiences that everyone else does or else you're going to make the same connections and then you won't be innovative.